In this video, we'll be using SAP Business Objects Data Services to connect to a HANA database and pivot some data within a table within SAP HANA. So the first thing we need to do is to log into Data Services. So we do that by going to Start. We can access that from All Programs, Data Services, and we choose the Data Services Designer. Log in with your credentials. So for me, it's student, and the password is welcome one. And then it logs you into the system. So the first thing we need to do is build a new project called Pivot. And then I'm going to build a new job called Pivot, which contains a single data flow, again, called Pivot. So we're going to apply or pivot this data based on data that we've already got in HANA and expand my HANA data store we have a list of template tables now I've actually loaded an, an existing table called reverse pivot using another transform called the reverse pivot transform so essentially I'm just going to reverse this data back into a normal table so if we look at the reverse pivot table, we can see that we have a list of countries, as you can see here. And then we have columns 2004, 5, 6, 7. And this data here is all to do with net sales. Essentially, we're going to output only three columns. We're going to output the country again. Then we're going to output a column called year with the specific year. So it will contain the values in the rows 2004, 5, 6, 7. And then we're going to output in the last third column the actual net sales value. So essentially, we're reversing the pivot. So the next stage is to go to our fifth tab called our transforms. And from the data integrator folder, we need to select the, the pivot transform. Because essentially, we're going to pivot this table. So I'll then join the source to the target. And I'll double click on that pivot transform. So the first thing we need to do is decide which columns are not pivoted. Well, for us, of course, that will be our country name. So I'm going to select that as my non-pivoted column. We then need to decide on the name of the pivot sequence. This simply means the order of the years. So remember, we've got years 2004, 5, 6 and 7. So I'm going to call this year sequence. And you'll see this easier when we actually view the data. So I'm going to call this year sequence. Now we need to deal at the bottom of this section, we need to deal with our pivoted columns. Now we actually have four pivoted columns. So I'm going to select all four columns and drag them and place them here as my pivoted columns. We then just need to decide on the headers, the names of the columns. So this is actually going to be called year. And this is actually going to be called net sales. Because the header column for the years, of course, is year. And the data field column will be called net sales. So you'll see that the schema output hasn't changed. All you need to do is validate the schema and then it will output and change the output of the um, query transfer, the pivot transform. So again, we've got country name. Then we'll probably have one, two, three, four for each year. One being 2004, two being 2005, so on and so forth. Then we'll have the actual year and then we'll have the net sales. So I'm just going to change this year. Oops, I need to do that in a query transform. So the next step is to output this data. Now again, we can't change things within the pivot transform, so I'm going to use a query transform just to change the data format. So I'm going to add a query transform, join the pivot to the query transform, and double click on that query transform. We're going to select the same columns, but I actually don't need the year, you need the year sequence outputted. I wouldn't normally output it, but on this occasion I will, just to show you what it does. The year again is going to be outputted as an integer. So I'm going to change this to integer. 
Now, of course, we can't have country name as a primary key anymore because country name is going to duplicate because we've got four years for each country. So I'm going to deselect this as a primary key and instead I'm going to add a new output key. So a new output column and I'm just going to call this load ID. Again, I'm going to make this an integer. It's going to be a primary key and I'm going to use a function called general num which simply adds a unique integer for each row that is output into the target. So that's all we have to do here. The last thing we have to do, of course, is now choose the target table. So again, I'm going to go select my template table as a target. We're going to load this in the STS schema in the HANA data store. And I'm going to call this table simply pivot. I'll then join the query transform to the pivot table. So again, this is the source. Let's execute the job. So I'm going to right click on my job, select execute. I'll be prompted to save any work. That's fine. I'll click on yes. And then I'll click on OK to execute the job. So let's have a look at what we got. We can do this by going to the data flow. And now, because we've executed the job once, we have a magnifying glass or the view data icon next to our target table, which I can select. And here we can see the output. So I'll just make this a bit bigger between the two. There we go. So what you essentially have is as follows. This is the source table where country name was unique and the data was outputted as a row and we had many columns. But now we're actually duplicating the country. So, of course, the, the country can no longer be a primary key because we have four years of data for each country. That's why we use the general num to generate a primary key. The year sequence just shows you the order in which the rows were outputted. And, of course, we can see here we have two extra columns. Year, which is, again, repeated because we've got four years of data for each country. And then we've got the net sales value. And just to do a quick check, if I look at the value for Brazil in 2004, it should be around 55,000. And of course here, Brazil for net sales in 2004, the value was 55,000. Again, it's very simple to validate that that data does exist in HANA. We can launch the SAP HANA Studio and we can investigate that that table does indeed exist. So I'm going to expand my database, go into my catalog folder, Expand the tables within the STS schema and we should have a new table called Pivot. If I right click and do a data preview on that table, we can see now that we've generated that pivoted data. So that's a very simple example of how we can use SAP Business Objects Data Services to take pivoted data, whether it comes to us in a text file or in a database table, we can unpivot or pivot the data and then we can output that data to a table within SAP HANA.